this is a 1923 moon. Now, <clears throat> I perhaps have seen a moon car before, but I can't remember when. I remember my mother talking about a neighbor that uh, lived on the same street that had a moon car. <clears throat> 1923, obviously, is uh, pretty old. Here you see the engine compartment, and it's uh, in pretty good shape. It's not uh, as it came off the uh, line at the factory, but uh, it's uh, very good nonetheless. You see the exterior has a really nice paint job, <clears throat> red and black. This is a very stylish car. And it's, of course, it's got the uh, side mount uh, spare there. And you can see the convertible top here with the serious iron supporting the, the uh, roof there. Nice upholstery. It's like leather. Here you can see the uh, spark advance and the uh, accelerator, I guess, there on the wheel. <clears throat> Down below you see the brake and I assume the clutch. It's got the uh, transmission uh, operate with a uh, floor mounted gear shift. Notice the wheels. Disc wheels. And this one has a uh, trunk that uh, serves as the uh, luggage compartment in the back. Supported on the luggage carrier there. That was a pretty common uh, way to do with uh, deal with things back in the 20s. Has a nice glass uh, window in the back. And it has the side mount on the other side too. Notice how the doors open from the front. So no suicide doors on this one. The car was made in St. Louis, Missouri. That's where moons were made. Looks like an ashtray there on the on the right. That green, <clears throat> the green glass speedometer with odometer. Handbrake there, you can see. It's quite a car, big car too. And here you see the moon insignia. Notice the energy absorbing bumper there and the springs mounted there. <clears throat> 